Welcome to Catholic News World. Welcome to Catholic News World. Please subscribe to our channel. My name is Steph. Here are this week's breaking news headlines. A Catholic priest died suddenly after collapsing while celebrating Holy Mass. Father Jason Kolkzinski, of Holy Martyrs Catholic Church in Orland, Pennsylvania, died suddenly after collapsing while celebrating Holy Mass on January 27, 2024. Witnesses said that he collapsed immediately after completing the Eucharistic prayer, while holding the Eucharist, and praying the doxology, through him, with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours forever and ever. Father Kolkzinski had a rare collection of sacred relics that he displayed for various groups throughout the USA. The beloved pastor was also the National Director Universal Arch Confraternity of St. Philomena and a celebrant for the Latin Mass community. His parish posted this from another community on Facebook. The Committee of San Francesco di Paula Orland are deeply saddened to learn of the sudden passing of the Rev. Jason Kolkzinski, who died last night while celebrating Mass in his parish. Our prayers go out to all who knew and loved Father Jason, especially his parishioners at Holy Martyrs Catholic Church in Orland, Pennsylvania. He was a parish priest at various churches in the Philadelphia area for 11 years before becoming a high school theology and Latin teacher and chaplain. In addition to serving as pastor, Kolkzinski, a priest for 26 years and a monk for two at Our Lady of Chestachawa Monastery before entering the seminary, host of the radio show Aim High, on Radio Maria and one of about a dozen celebrants of the traditional Latin Mass at St. Edmund's Church in Philadelphia. His parish, Holy Martyrs Church was the home for the altar on which Pope Francis celebrated Mass during his visit to Philadelphia in September, 2015. May he rest in peace. A Catholic cardinal, who went missing in Panama, has been found alive. The Diocese of David in Panama announced the discovery of Cardinal José Luis Lacunza Mastrojuan by police in his car. In Panama, the Spanish Cardinal José Luis Lacunza was found in the afternoon of February 1 in the district of Boquete, Chiriqui Province. He was found in his car disoriented, but in good health. The Episcopal Conference of Panama thanks the people for their solidarity in this event. The bishops of the Panama Episcopal Conference officially released a statement that he was found by the authorities. Vatican News released that Cardinal José Luis Lacunza Mastrojuan, the Bishop of David, was last seen at his residence in the city of David, Panama, on the afternoon of Tuesday, January 30, 2024. The police immediately launched an investigation. Pope Francis created him Cardinal in 2015, thus he became the first Cardinal in Panama's history. He belongs to the Order of Augustinian Recollects, which was founded in 1588. Cardinal Lacunza welcomed the Pope to Panama in 2019 for World Youth Day. On January 26, Cardinal Gerald Cyprien Lacroix announced that he was temporarily withdrawing from his activities and he denied the allegations made against him. He was among the new allegations identified in an abuse case against the diocese. Cardinal Lacroix said, I categorically deny the allegations made public. Never, to my knowledge, have I made any inappropriate actions towards anyone, whether minors or adults. My soul and my conscience are at peace in the face of these accusations, which I refute. I undertake to respect the legal process of the current collective action. Let me be clear, our diocese remains resolutely committed to ensuring that victims of abuse receive financial reparation in addition to other means at their disposal to achieve healing. For me, for us, this is fundamental. We will continue to devote all our efforts to this. We recognize the suffering of the victims and it is with humility that we move forward in the process of collective action. In this context, following recent events, in consultation with my close collaborators, I have decided to temporarily withdraw from activities in my diocese. This is not a resignation, but a temporary withdrawal to allow us to better evaluate the next steps to take and consider the decisions to be made. The Canadian Catholic Bishops Conference issued a statement. Bishop William McGratton, Bishop of the Diocese of Calgary and President of the Canadian Conference of Catholic Bishops, wrote regarding the recent allegations of assault concerning His Eminence Gerald Cyprien Cardinal Lacroix. On January 25, 
2024, it was reported in the news that Cardinal Gerald Cyprien Lacroix's name has recently been added to a list of clergy and pastoral workers who have been accused of abuse in a class action lawsuit against the Archdiocese of Quebec. He has issued a statement and he has communicated his decision to withdraw temporarily from activities in his diocese. Within the Catholic Church, Pope Francis has established a clear procedure that must be followed when an allegation is made against a bishop, as outlined in Vos Estes Lux Mundi. The bishops of Canada have set up a third-party reporting system for sexual abuse or cover-up by a Catholic bishop. And the Canadian Conference of Catholic Bishops in 2018 published guidelines to help dioceses develop their own policies and protocols to prevent sexual abuse and to support victim survivors. Any allegation of sexual abuse or misconduct attributed to a member of the clergy, religious order, or pastoral agent should be looked upon as an urgent matter that requires serious attention, while at the same time praying for victim survivors and all those concerned, as well as for a just process to unfold. In Colombia, a monastery of a congregation in Medellin named Teresitas Contemplativas del Santissimo, Contemplative Teresite Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament, reported one of their nuns was assaulted. The 31-year-old nun was found attacked and assaulted late January 22, 2024. According to several local media, the nun belonging to the cloistered community was found by her religious sisters totally disoriented. The nun, whose name has been withheld, did not return to the refectory for dinner and her community members went to look for her in Medellin, among the largest of the Colombian cities. They found the sister in the woods near a ravine, she had been stripped of her habit, had her neck and hands tied with a chain, and showed several signs of assault, and signs of torture. According to the commander of the Metropolitan Police, two debit cards with which the community made their purchases were stolen from the sister. The nun remains in critical condition in the intensive care unit of a Medellin hospital. Please pray for this nun and all victims. Watch our program every Friday at 7:30 p.m. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Catholic News World Channel. God bless. Please subscribe to Catholic News World's YouTube channel. Thanks and God bless.